So I'm creating a data frame here where three types of data sets, data types are there. So first is matrix, second is matrix, and third is data frame. Let's create a matrix. How I'm creating it? I'm taking nine values using matrix command within bracket one to nine values and rows three. So I'm taking three rows and I'm filling it by columns. Let's execute it and let's see what happens. So you can see there is an output in which I have three columns, one to nine values filled in column form. Next, I'm taking a matrix with four rows, same way. So you can see four to 15 values are filled here. Next is a data frame with two variables, X and Y having similar value of eight, nine, 10. Let's execute this command also. Now I'm creating a list out of it. So I'm saving it in my list. The function I'm using here is list within the brackets name of the variables that I have created. Let's execute this command and my list. So you can see there is a list of two metrics and a data frame. All are in their own data structures. Now let's apply L apply function. So L apply within the brackets, my list, that is the name of the data set I'm using here that I just created. After that, I am giving a operator that is a selection operator. So in this, you have to give a function as uh, we have discussed. So here the function is selector operator. And after that, I am saying I want to extract the second column from my list with the selection operator. So I have already given the selection operator here. After that, I, because I don't want any rows, particular row, I need the second column from each of the data structure. So let's execute this command. So you can see what happened. My data set was this. I had one matrix, then the other matrix and the data frame. I extracted second column of each of the data set. You can see four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, and eight, nine, 10. So second column of each matrix and data frame. Next is how to extract the first row from my list. So I am extracting first row. Similarly, earlier I extracted the second column. Now I'm extracting first row of each of the matrix. Let's execute this command. And you can see what happened is, this was the matrix, whole matrix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, seven, eight, similar way. Now I wanted only first row, four, seven, one, four, seven, 4, 8, 12, and 1, 8, 8. So how do I know it is the same? So you can see 1, 4, 7, 4, 8, 12. So it is the first row of each of the data structure. Next, I want a single element for each matrix from my list. Now, earlier what I did is I extracted a single column from each of the matrix. Then I extracted first row from each of the data set my list. Now I want a single element of each of the matrix. So I'm giving first row and second column here. Again, the function is selecting operator. Let's execute this command. Now the element present at this position, that is first row and second column. Let's go to our data set. So you can see this is our data set, first row and second column. The value is four. Similarly, first row, second column, the value is eight. And first row, second column, the value is eight. Let's see our output, it is the same. So four, eight, eight. So this is how LApply is used and its output is always in the list form. Similarly, one more example is there. There are movie names here, that is Spider-Man, Batman, Vertigo, Chinatown. Now I want to convert it into lower case the formula same l apply will be applied here first is movies that is the name of the vector i have used here and function is to lower so what i'm doing is i'm converting these names into lower case let's execute oh sorry i didn't execute this vector so movies then let's check the values of this variable so you can see it is in the form of list first it was Spider-Man, Batman, Vertigo. They were in uppercase and have been converted into lowercase. Let's go to our slide. Next is S-apply. 
Now, what is a supply function? It helps to it works similar to L apply, but major difference in L apply and S apply is L apply returns list in its output. S returns S apply returns a vector when the function is applied. So it simplifies our output. It do not clutters. It is also called as a wrapper function to L apply. And um, the function that we use for S apply is S apply within the brackets. It is x comma function. So x here is the vector or the object that we are using to convert. Next function function is applied to each of the elements. Let's go to R and let's create our data set. So we are already having our data set my list and I am applying the same function on the same data set. We have already uh, applied L apply on my list. So I am extracting the values from first row and first column of my list uh, using L apply function and saving it at a variable. Let's execute this command. If you see if there is any uh, error in the console area, what you can do is just go to that area and press escape. It will give you a new line and you can execute the command again. So I am executing my command again. I am saving L apply result in A. Let's check the value of A now. So you can see I have first row, first column value in each of the from each of the matrices. Now I am applying S apply function. S apply function what uh, it, it will do is it will return the same values 1, 4, 8 but in the form of vector. So L apply returns list, S apply will return vector. It is the same format. Let's check its value. So you can see I have again got first row, first columns value but in the form of vector here. Now let's go to T apply. It is the next apply function, T apply. So T apply is used to create subsets of a vector and use uh, those subsets and apply measure functions to each of the subset. So we can compute mean, median, mode, uh, minimum, maximum or a function for each factor variable in a fact vector. The function that is used is x comma index comma function. So here x is the uh, vector or the object that you're using for your as a data set. Index is the factor variable. So let me explain how t apply works actually. t apply helps to, so t apply helps us to build a function where we will be taking in consideration a categorical or a factorial data and finding a function a mean or any of the function that you will apply from that data set. Let's go to R and make it easy for you. To explain T apply, I'm using a data set empty cars. It is a inbuilt data set. We have used it earlier also. So in empty cars, let's check the name of uh, names of the cars here. What are the variables uh, present in empty cars? So it is MPG, miles per gallon, cylinder, displacement, horsepower, weight, and etc. Uh, all the names of the variables.